Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When the value of fixed assets decline, that is called depreciation. We will now look at tracking depreciation for fixed assets. There are many ways to track depreciation, and this is just one suggested method. Now, fixed assets are not for immediate sale, but they do have a value. Since they last for a long time, you don't completely charge or expense their purchase price to the year in which you purchased them. Instead, you spread their cost over several years, which is called the asset's useful life. But because fixed assets wear out or become obsolete, like computers, their value declines constantly from the day that you purchase them. The amount of this decline is called depreciation. So when you refer to the value of a fixed asset at any point, it's really just an estimate. To determine the estimated value of a fixed asset at any point in time, you need to subtract its accumulated depreciation, which is the total amount of depreciation since the asset's purchase, from its original cost. To set up an accumulated depreciation account in Sage 50, you'll need to use the Maintain Chart of Accounts window. And you can do this by selecting Maintain and then choosing Chart of Accounts from the menu bar. Now, to set up an accumulated depreciation account, type an ID number for the accumulated depreciation account that you want to track the amount of depreciation for the fixed asset. Then give the account a description and make sure that it clearly references the fixed asset account for which it will track the accumulated depreciation. Finally, make the account type accumulated depreciation by using the account type dropdown. At that point, simply click the Save button to save the account. Now when you need to enter the amount of depreciation for a fixed asset, you can create a general journal entry that will consist of two rows. Now in the first row, you can enter the accumulated depreciation account. And then enter the amount of depreciation for the accumulated depreciation account into the credit column, which will decrease this account's worth. But since the purpose of an accumulated depreciation account is to track lost worth, it's okay that the balance in these accounts is always negative. Now, in the next row, you can enter the expense account like depreciation expense. and then enter the same amount into this account as a debit to increase the associated expense. And once again, when making your journal entries, you can enter the debit or credit amounts first. As long as the total amounts balance, the transaction can then be posted when you click the Save button in the toolbar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.